Question number 17. Here we have a rational equation. Okay, I'm just going to start by mentioning the non-permissible value of x, which in this case is negative 1. So if we really solve the equation and find negative 1 as an answer, we need to reject it. So that's it. We just leave this for now, but we need to keep it in the back of our minds. Now, what is my first step over here? I will multiply both sides by x plus 1 so that I get rid of the x plus 1 in the denominator. So they cancel out. So I get 12 is equal to. Now, we can FOIL this. A very common mistake, in fact, is to forget to put parentheses and just multiply the x by the x minus 3. But we won't make that mistake. Will we? No, we won't. Okay. So now let's FOIL, distribute this, and expand. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. Negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times 1, negative 3. So 12 equals x squared. x minus 3x is negative 2x. We still have the negative 3. Now what do we want to do? I want to subtract 12 from both sides of the equation. These cancel out. I get 0 equals x squared minus 2x. Negative 3 minus 12 is negative 15. Okay, now what can we do? I will actually solve by factoring. We can easily factor this trinomial. We'll put an x over here, another one over there. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 15 and add up to negative 2. Negative 5 and 3 will work. I'll draw a nicer 3 here. <laughs> Not really that much better, but that's okay. So what is x equal to? Well, what will make the equation equal to 0? If I plug in a 5 here, that will work. 5 minus 5 is 0, and 0 times anything is 0. So 5 is one of the answers, and negative 3 is another one, because negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and 0 times anything is 0. So the answers are negative 3 and 5. Neither of them conflict with the negative 1, that is the non-permissible value of x. So we're good. Negative 3 and 5. 